is the rise and fall season because there are so many characters who, who come into the season with power of some kind to lose everything and other characters who enter with almost nothing and achieve great power. There are a lot of tremendous new characters coming forward. We're very excited about the way that new blood shakes up the picture for the people we've already come to know and love. You'll have lordships and castles of your choosing when I take back the Seven Kingdoms. A lot of surprises. One or two quite bold scenes, if I put it that way. <laughs> and great fun to do. The show keeps expanding and breathing more deeply. Um, you know, we kill a lot of characters, but every character we kill, we add two more. The story's such that it's, it's on its feet and it's running at full speed, and every episode comes in at that pace. This is a plot. Plots are not public knowledge. We need to act first. The stakes get even higher, and loyalties start to be torn apart. The strength of this show is that nothing is ever completely sacred. Have you lost faith in our cause? This revenge, I've still got faith. So far, it seems to be operating uh, fantastically for people who love yeah. fantasy and drama and a bit of butchery on the way. Just really excited about sort of keeping the story going and the momentum, because um, in this world, nothing goes unanswered, really. It's still uh, very much about power and very much about family. I also think that this is a season of tremendous reversals of fortune. I think you will be pleasantly surprised and horrified in equal measure. It's incredibly gratifying to have made it this far and to be able to get to the season that we've been looking forward to so passionately since day one.